Hey everybody, how's it going? Awesome to see you guys again. Hey, uh, been a pretty good day so far. I, I left uh, Prime this morning around 4 o'clock in the morning. My time, my clock reset. My 10 hour, my, my 10 hour break was over, so I got out and headed out towards Oklahoma. And uh, of course it was a short run, around about 175. And I took some back roads. I had to take some back roads to get to the place. It was out between Bartlesville and Tulsa. It wasn't bad. I mean, you know, pretty good place. It was a drop. It was a Walmart, D.C., but it was a drop and hook, which was phenomenal. I mean, that went fast. I mean, quick. They told me where to go, where to park, where to go get a trailer, and I got in and got out. But it went out pretty smooth. But anyway, <laughs> stupid me. This is what it, this is what gets me. You know, you leave. And you have no place to go. You're supposed to go, like I was taught, to go to the nearest location, you know. Yeah, I did my bills, you know, did all that stuff. But go to the nearest location you can go. Well, in this particular area, the closest place was like 30 some freaking miles away, north. Well, I wasn't expecting to get a, a proposed load right away because I, you know, the rumor was that they would, the loads were being, everybody's being switched around and everything. And with me going home time this week, I thought that I would be like on the back burner or something, you know, <laughs> I didn't know. But anyway, I got started and I was probably around five, maybe 10 miles away from my 90 and I get the, you know, you get the 1500 million messages, you know. So I had nowhere to go. So I ended up taking and pulling off an off ramp and parking for a minute to be able to under see what was up. and. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it is, it's a load, it's a load. And I'm trying to get as much as I can before I go on home time, and they knew that, so that wasn't a big deal with me. So anyway, I got a load. I got a load, and it was like a 200 and some odd mile deadhead or uh, empty trailer, and then the, the 90 was like 800 and some miles away. Which is great. I mean, it worked out perfect for me. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a decent cost. I mean, it's not outstanding, but it will work. So anyway, I had to flip around and turn back around and go back the way I came and go, go back towards uh, Tulsa. And you hit, I had to come down through Oklahoma City and then out. In uh, fact, the, the pickup was out the, out the far point of Oklahoma. And it was a S-bar load. Uh, but anyway, so I had to take off and head that direction. Well, in the meantime, my my clock kept running, you know, because I started at 4 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, I had, and for some reason, and I'm not blaming this on other drivers, but it seems every time I get a, I pick up a dang trailer, that thing's either at a quarter of a tank or a half a tank or less. You know, I never have anything that's got a lot of fuel in it. So, of course, you know, when you go to a Note 1, they always you gotta have 80% or better in your fuel tank. It's a requirement. The, you gotta take a truck wash out, the trailer, I mean, reefer wash out, all that crap. Or blow it out or whatever. Well, when I opened this trailer up, and there wasn't very much to select from, I opened this trailer up and it was freaking trash. So I said, well, okay, I need to figure out where I'm gonna go do the wash out. So there was a play, Blue, uh, Blue Beacon in, uh, in Oklahoma City and I knew I had to get rid of fuel, but I thought I'd hold off and wait. It was kind of funny because they wanted me to, uh, according to the prime, you know, the prime fuel uh, recommendation that they put out now with all the, you know, when, when, when you get, get a load, they put out a recommendation now, new deal. Well, that told me funny because I had to go pick up my O1 first and then come back all the way. See, I went all the way out west on 40 and then turned back around and come back on 40 back to Oklahoma City. And I thought that was kind of weird, but anyway. So anyway, I got to the war shop. There was like 15 million campers and stuff, you know. You know, the campers need to wait. You know, we should, uh, truck drivers and truckers should be priority one because of the essentialness, you know. And people argue about this to me too, and I don't care. That's just the way I feel. You make one one line for the camp and the gurus that are having a good time while us working men are out doing our thing. But anyway, it, it, it was what it was. So I ended up sitting there for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get my truck washed out. So that was the delay. 
and then I got back on the interstate, headed out west, and I came out here on the other side of uh, Oklahoma City. I had to get fuel, so I went ahead and uh, fueled up the reefer, and, and of course I put in for a credit because it was practically empty. And I never ran it the whole way here. I didn't run it till I got here because it wanted and they needed it set at 26 at fresh meat. So anyway, I still had 80 some miles, so I figured it'd be good to go by the time I got there. So anyway, got to my nine, my old one, uh, checked in. It was simple. It was a drop and hook as well. And they told me to drop a trailer right there by the entrance. I did, and then I went around and went to get the bills and picked up the trailer. Of course, that trailer, it was a half a tank you know what I'm saying damn I can't win so anyway I took off but my clock was down to freaking dirt so I'm hauling butt to get back here well I put in a new mackerel for a fuel requirement because I didn't think I could make it to the the one that they required I just I was running them I was picking the, the red in the in the east side <clears throat> my little light didn't come on but I thought it came on once got a flash and it went off but anyway so I drove up here, and in fact, it sent me right back to this Loves here at El Reno. And I mean, price of gas seemed, I guess, went back up. I don't know what the deal is, but out here, it's in the it's in the buck teens, high buck teens in the middle of teens for some reason. Anyway, I went in here, and I got here, pulled in. I went ahead and did all my fueling, and it, I had 18 minutes left on my 14-hour clock. So I, I was pushing the envelope there. So anyway, I went ahead and just parked here. They had plenty of parking spots, pretty nice stuff here. And uh, it, it wasn't bad. And cool. Convent transports, he just come flying in here right in front of my truck and then he gives me that look like, what, what's your problem? <laughs> don't have one. You may do, but I don't. But anyway, it, it was all good and I'm parked now. I'm gonna set up for my 10 hour break. Uh, Still got quite a ways to go. I got about 784 miles. I got to get up to uh, uh, a place called Sterling, Illinois, up by Chicago. And I don't know what's going on, guys. I've been hearing, I got a buddy that keeps me updated on the news, but I mean, I'm hearing all kinds of weird crap. And if anybody has any insight, let me know. But I'm hearing this, they're talking possibly martial law countrywide or some crap. Now, that's just rumor. I don't know. I'm just asking that question. I mean, people are jumping around in the freaking highways and stuff and people jumping truckers and you know trucker accidentally ran over a guy and drug him you know and geez man what's going on with this country it's crazy but anyway i gotta head up that way and and i've got it's funny because i got actually an old one i got an 02 and a 90 but it's it's the same uh walmart distribution center i think one 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 uh ship one BO uh, goes to Walmart, another one's to Sam Clubs, but they're delivered to the same area, so our same building. So we'll see how that pans out. But don't have an appointment time. I don't know. I talked to I talked to no hippie this morning, no hippie trucking and transportation vial, and he told me that I asked a question. I I heard it said before if it's got all zeros on that day, like oh six. 02000060200. That means there's not a set appointment time. So I don't know when that's going to be set. So anyway, I did my calculations on what I had. I'm going to still have to do one more 10 hour break. So my quit, my, I'm going to push it tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to push about 590 to 600 miles. And that'll put me within a 200 mile range of my 90. So I can get there in like two or three hours. So I, I, I text my fleet manager and told him that, you know, I calculated my numbers. I should be there by noon on 0602, and hopefully they take it from there. But anyway, that was taken care of. So, and I called him this morning because I thought I was taking this load back to Springfield, dumping it, and then going home, you know. Attention, a new important message has arrived. Now let's see what he had to say. I think he wrote me back. 100, ha, <laughs> ha, Leslie, 110, 110.4 is what she meant. <laughs> Freaking spelled it wrong. But anyway, it's all good. Uh, <clears throat> but that being said, uh, 
I still got to do another 10. I don't think I, I can't run 784 miles. This ain't going to happen. This little, this truck ain't going to, it doesn't top out that good, guys. I mean, it just don't get there. So I'll just deal with it. I figured I'll, I'll, I'll fly, I'll, I'll take off in the morning about four when my 10's up, haul butt, and I'll get up near that area probably around, uh, what? I wrote it down. Probably get up there around three in the at three almost four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully I'll push in five ninety six hundred miles, and then I'll take another ten. Uh, my ten clock will reset like uh, one one something in the morning on the second, and then shoot that should give me like two hundred maybe one ninety left to my ni my ninety, and I'm thinking I can get there within four to five hours. So. I should be there on time. I, I mean, I'll be there during that time frame. I mean, on the six. But anyway, they were. I thought this was going to be a, a, a repower. I thought I was just going to take it back to Springfield and go home time and get a note. And they said, "No, you're not. You're running the whole road, and then we're going to get you a load out of there to bring back to Springfield, and then you go on home time, which put it on the third. Which that's my plan anyway. I was not going. I didn't want to go home until I set it up for the fourth through the seventh, but. I didn't want to get back in there until the third, so that was my goal, and that, and it looks like that's going to happen. I might be a little late, might be a little early on the third, but I don't care. But anyway, I'm getting to put enough revenue, well, let, let me put it this way, I'm putting enough revenue together for this week to hopefully take care of everything for this week and then possibly the beginning of next week, because I'm going to try to get, I'm going to try to get back on duty on the 7th, which is Sunday. And then hopefully I can get a load out either Sunday or my first thing Monday morning and start running again. But uh, again, guys, I, I know you all been watching the videos and everything, and I appreciate that high, highly. Uh, I'm up to 145 subscribers. I, you know, and I think I think I had more than that, but I lost two, and that's fine. You know, that's just the way it goes. But I appreciate all the 145 people if you're watching and everything, and thank you very much. All the comments I'm getting from everybody, the phone calls, I mean, I appreciate that. No hippie trucking and uh, transportation, Lyle, I appreciate you calling me every day, checking on me. That's awesome. Um, uh, guys out there, Rod, uh, Stefan, uh, I mean, that, the list goes on, guys. Uh, Jerry Garcia, I mean, you guys just thank you so much. I mean, you guys are comments or encouragement, you know. I mean, there's a few comments that, you know, they are what they are, and that's okay. And I made the comment back. I appreciate anybody's comments, whether positive or negative. And I, it wasn't a negative comment. It was just a comment that said, hey, look, you know, maybe you would be better off going company and just think that if you don't call it a failure in lease, it's, you're being wise if you decide to change. But, like, there's a couple more comments that were made that said, you know, this part of the system with all this crap going on, the Kovo and whatever else is going on, these riots, it's going to deter a little bit of the um, freight, you know, and that's why a lot of this is being really hard to get around once this stuff gets, uh, once these idiots quit rioting and, 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 and this Kovo stuff quits, then the plants will start reopening and then production will pick up and you go on. It, it, and, and you know it was one that that one comment says I, I probably picked a bad time to be lease operator I should have probably went company for six months and then went lease maybe things would have been a lot better then but you know I did what I did and I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not regretting it to be honest with you, you know I I do complain a little bit but I'm not regretting what I've done I mean I'm gonna hang it in there I'm gonna hang in there and we'll get we'll get it taken care of you know I appreciate everybody's support though that that means a lot to me that means i've got i got friends in low places you know as the country song says but anyway you guys i appreciate you all i appreciate everybody's comments uh I, I, please uh, no keep liking my videos if you do fine i'm hoping i'm not dragging this stuff out i'm hoping to get things started i just been going crazy guys running 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 so I'm hoping to keep up with the videos and everything, but keep keep your comments coming. If uh, if you haven't, if you're just now watching my videos, dude, I've got a ton of them. I mean, I, it started from when I began back in December of 2019, uh, my first day uh, at Prime and Orientation, 
my, and it followed the journey I went through through PSD. Some of the things are in there that are probably educational, give you an idea of what to look forward to if you're planning to come to Prime. Um, it's a great company. Don't 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 think I've been dogging the company out. I'm not. It's a good company to to actually learn to drive for one a tractor grader or a semi and get your CDL. And it's also a good place that if you want to start working on uh, being a company driver. First off, I mean you know I you know that that is what it is. I went lease off and then you know and I complained a little bit here and there on the screw on, on the videos, but. I'm not going to give it up. So anyway, but I won't be I won't be complaining no more. Okay, I won't. I'll just be cheerful. <laughs> so we'll see how that pans out. I might give that one little look with the eye closed, you know, and you'll go, "Yep, Kurt's got issues," you know, or something. So, but anyway, again, if you're interested, I mean, totally. If you're interested in get your CDL and drive a truck and start a start a new life or something, you know, think about Prime. Prime's a good company to work for. And of course, I'm going to give you a sales pitch. You know, if you decide to come and you've been watching my videos, I would highly appreciate you do use my driver's code on your application. My driver's code is B-A-R-C-U-D. That's B-A-R-C-U-D. And uh, that, that uh, re referral for a driver referral helps out me and also helps out you, you know, and everything. And then, uh, you know, uh, there's a there's a guy out there right now. Uh, my trainer is one of the best I've been with, been around. I'm not saying all, I'm not dogging everybody's other trainers out, but mine was phenomenal. He does PSD and TNT at, with one student. Uh, our our program started December 20, our December 6th, and we went all the way up to the last part of April. So almost completed four months we were together and that's including both phases you know he does PSD you go about 30,000 miles on PSD maybe two to three weeks whatever it is until they're convinced you're able to do it and then they'll take you in and be tested and you'll do whatever you have to do um, once you pass then you'll go get your CDL whatever state you're from I was lucky mine was Missouri I just went down the road and got mine and uh, we, we rolled out on the 24th on TNT December, and uh, I was with him for several months. I, I, I think I had about close to 80,000 miles because of the Kobo thing. They weren't letting nobody upgrade after they hit 50, so. But remember that when you do hit 40,000 miles, you, become, you you get kind of a promotion from B2 to B1 seat, which is still a backup. You're not full-fledged A1. A1 is the actual drive. You get your truck, and you're the primary driver, but B, B2 is the beginning, <coughs> the beginning phase, you, uh, you're you 30,000 miles, or for, excuse me, 40,000 miles, and then you get a $100 pay raise per week, uh, goes from $700 to $800, and you're noted as a B1, and then uh, you finish your 10,000 miles, and you wait for the fleet manager and your trainer to say, okay, you're ready to come in and upgrade, and then you'll come in and upgrade. And you get a, I think you get an upgrade bonus too. I got one through, I think it was 300 bucks or something, I don't know. But you go in, because I went lease, but I mean, you go company or lease, whichever way you want to go, and you do what you got to do. Now, uh, other than that, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, I've been keeping clean. I ain't caught the Covo. I'm wearing my mask. Hey, that's another thing, a little promotional thing. I, while I was at Prime, Prime's got these masks. I want to show it to you. It's pretty cool. Do I got it on right? No. God. Yeah, no. I got it on backwards. There we go. These are... Prime's got these. And they got them at, at, uh, at the store at Prime. They're pretty cool. They're cloth, and they're pretty decent. And they're big enough. I had to stretch a little bit. I got these big old antenna here. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I got them at the office, and also uh, another thing is, you guys going in that have been out and have not been in, you go to any of the, hold on a minute, you go into any of the uh, shops, Salt Lake City, Piston, or Springfield, and uh, you get one of these. They're pretty cool. Those are for the times that we've been delivering to the, around during this uh, epidemic and uh, pandemic, excuse me. 
and uh, they give you these these are patches pretty cool and they also have a hat there I didn't get the hat because uh, it looked a little cheesy to me I'm, I'm, I'm particular about hats but this is what they got patches and I, I told the girl at the counter I said this needs to become a decal and so every driver in prime that has drove during this time in this pandemic needs to put one of these on their truck just like us veterans do just like the million milers do just like the PT, P, ptc does everybody should be able from a rookie or from on a, everybody they should make a patch and i'm going to keep suggesting this i told her that and she thought it was a cool idea now i put it down when we when this came out pro when this come out on the Facebook page of the Professional Driver of Prime, I made a comment that says you need to make patches so everybody gets a patch in this company, or a decal, excuse me, <clears throat> decal, and that they get to put these on their trucks. I think that would be an awesome thing for everybody that recognizes that you've been, you worked through this time frame. Now, I know people might think I'm cheesy, I don't care. I'm proud to have my veterans sticker decal on here with my U.S. Army little, I got a little magnet U.S. Army on the on underside both sides of these and I'm mostly proud of that but this would make, a, I think this would make a lot of people happy, maybe not I don't know, but I'd be rec being recognized and being shown recognized as you're driving around uh, the country, you know, but I think that'd be a good idea if they did come up with a decal so if anybody's got any ideas let me know, I think that'd make a good decal don't you let me know on the comments let me talk to me let me see what you think and I'll keep pushing it up I, I, I'll go talk to Andrea or I'll talk to my fleet manager about it I think this would be a cool idea that everybody that have been driving during this pandemic gets one of these period okay but that's pretty cool I like that and I'm you know and I don't know what I'm putting on I really have no clue I you know who knows I might not put it on I've got it I got it up in my on my refrigerator right now. I might even Velcro it on the back and stick it somewhere in my truck. I don't know. If I could come up with a magnet system on here, I'd stick it on the truck, but it'd get all messed up, and I don't want to do that. But anyway, I just thought I'd mention that to you guys. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I want to sit there and y'all see my booty. So anyway, I just wanted to touch bases, you know, and tell you guys I'm cool. I'm good to go. I'm going to keep trucking. I'm hopefully going to get this load uh, delivered in uh, in a couple of days and then get one come back to Springfield and then I get to go get on my Harley. And that's all I, well, first thing I got to go hug my wife and love on her a little bit. And then my dog, Jake, got to got to be with my partner. And then it's time to ride, get on the Harley and ride and just break the wind. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, and I don't know, someone asked me about bikes and I, 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 uh, I wanted to do bikes. I think it was a Facebook. And I put my, I posted my picture of my bike on there, and that was pretty cool. Uh, giving it up to somebody wanted to know who all the bikers were at Prime, and that's I put mine in there too. So maybe one of these days we could have a bike rally or something. Who knows? That'd be cool as heck. But anyway, guys, I'm a ranting on. I'm gonna get ready and go get me a shower. I need one badly. I wish I could find me a barber that would cut my freaking hair. I mean, these things are like wings. I'm telling you. I'm just getting ugly, man. I hate long hair. I've never had, I've had long hair when I was in high school. The rest of the time I've been military, it was all short. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have my wife. They're not opening the barbershops yet, so. And I told my wife, well, we're gonna get the shears out and you're gonna buzz my head. So I'm gonna probably wear, be wearing a buzz this summer for a while. But anyway, if you like my videos, please continue to watch them. Subscribe, like, and comment, uh, and ring the bell. Too. don't forget the bell there's a little bell there as well that you get notified of all my videos that come in uh, also again if you want if you're interested to come to prime uh, put me at down as your drive uh, as a driver referral I appreciate that B A R C U D, and we'll go from there but until next time I'll talk to you guys probably again tomorrow see let you guys see where how far I got with it and I'll get the miles all figured up and everything and we'll go from there so for now have a great day. I hope you all be safe. Take care of yourselves. And always remember, we keep driving and we keep striving for perfection. Good night, guys. Bye. I hit the button.